everyone, welcome back to the channel. For anyone new here, my name's Kirsty from Kirsty Colour and Sketch, and I do a bit of colouring, sometimes a few pet portraits on the channel, a bit of diamond painting more recently. Um, yeah, and this little segment is something I do weekly. Sometimes they're not up every week if I've had a busy week, but it's just a little casual um, colouring chat and working on something I've been doing during that week. So this is my whip for the week. This is a page by Christine Karen, and isn't it gorgeous? It's so gorgeous. Now I printed this out onto the, let me find it for you. I'll find it to show you. I printed it out onto this. This is the Strathmore Torn Tan Mixed Media Paper really really nice it takes lots of layers when i've been doing my pet portraits on here with the pastel pencils it's it's gone on brilliantly it's gone on brilliantly and working with pencils on this piece um it's just amazing even the background where i've done a full light like, block color i'd say that the polychromos pencils were going down on this paper like prismacolor they were going down so softly for that background it was just amazing. They just blended in together. So really, really nice. I used a bit of a white um, paint pen to make it look like it's snowing on here. There's one little thing that's bugging me about this page. Um, I might leave it and not do it in this video so that you can comment down below what you think it is for me and then I can do it. But can you see these little areas behind the sort of crystals and branches. Is that a her? Cause it looks like, cause that's her coming out. So it looks like it should be, a her should like continue up here. And it looks like those sections there would be her. But I'm just, I keep looking at it and thinking, is it, is it an air? If you can hear children in the background, it is my, my daughters, they're at home. <laughs> but yeah, I think it might be her. I'm like 90% sure it should be her. But I'll let you comment down below what you think. And we'll do the um, dress, I think. I was looking at it thinking, should I go for a sort of really deep blue? You know, like the sort of um, dark indigo along those lines of blue? Or should I go for a sort of dark velvet green type colour to match her eyes? Because I've done her eyes green. And I can't quite decide, but I think I'm steering more towards the greens. I think I'm steering more towards the greens, but I love Luke. I'm a bit weary about this dress, to be honest, because it looks like this patterning over the top. It looks like it would be um, some sort of lace detail, do you think? But I'm absolutely rubbish at colouring lace. Absolutely rubbish. And the only thing I was thinking that I could possibly do... Um, would be to go over it with a white paint pen at the end but I really don't know I might just oh I don't know it's really hmm we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes it might not be the best it might not look like lace when I've done but there we go this is another one that I printed out as well by Christine Cavan on this paper so I will colour this at, um, probably after this one actually I don't know what colours to go for on that one yet. I've not decided. So let's pick out some pencils, some greens. We want it to look like a nice deep um, velvety type of green. I'm thinking possibly, what's this one? Pine green. That might be nice, but I need a paler green as well. That's not going to be right, is it, that colour? What's this one? Is this a touch lighter than that one? Let me get a scrap piece of paper. Let's get this paper here and see. See, that's a nice green. What's this one like at the side of it? No, they don't really go together, do they? This is the green I'm after, but I want a, a sort of similar shade, but a lighter of this one. What, what is it? Pine green. What looks like this one? <laughs> I should have got my swatch book out, shouldn't I? But no. What's the cobalt green I've had out? No. 
We don't want that either. We don't want that. Let's have a look at this. Nope. Let's have a look at this permanent green olive. Yeah, that's more along the lines of that and that'll smoosh into that one nicely, see. Yeah, I think I'll go for that, you know. Let's just go for it. Go for it, go for it. And then we're gonna ignore the lace. <laughs> gonna ignore it. So I'm just gonna go over all of the dress with this first to start with the permanent green olive 167. Just a light layer all over. Yeah, we've had some lovely weather this this um, past couple of weeks. Some gorgeous weather. And um, we've been on the park every day, me and my little boy. There's a park right by my daughter's school. So when we've been waiting for her to come out, we've been on the park. He has been absolutely loving it. He's been loving it. I'll put a little clip in actually. I'll put a little, a little clip of him playing up here. I've just come to the park for a little play before I pick the girls up from school. No. <laughs> My youngest is just, he loves this little climbing frame. 100 minutes. 100 minutes he's saying. 100 minutes before we pick his sisters up from school. <laughs> You can have 100 minutes. He's no sense of time. <laughs> You're going down. Whee! I love that tree there. It's gorgeous. Did you slide down on your back? And then there's a big field there, what they use for um, football, rugby. I think it's rugby actually and cricket, something. Is it tricky? You want to hold my hand? <laughs> you ready? Hold on tight. Oh, it is a tricky one. <gasps> Where are your foot? <gasps> oh, you did it. Whoa. Whoa, wibbly wobbly like a jelly. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. Oh, I have to carry you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go uh, carry him across here. <laughs> He's mastering these ones now. Wow. Wibble wobble. <laughs> and then there's the roller. The squeaky roller. It's very squeaky. Needs some WD-40 on it, I think. Are you holding on tight? Whoa. 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 Woo. <laughs> That's an awful sound, isn't it? You made it! I did them! Hooray! <laughs> and then we've got some spinny things, which his big sister used to love going round so fast, but Casper doesn't like going round as fast. And I can hear a train over there somewhere. Can you hear the train, Casper? I can't see it though. Let's sit you on here. Yeah. Whoosh! Up we go! Spin you! How fast? Faster! Is that fast enough? So yeah, that was him loving life on the park. He has gained more confidence on that park as well. He has been how he wants to hold my hand for everything and um, where he feels a little bit unsafe. He has just been branching off a bit and trying to do things by himself. Which is good. Yeah, we went to the cinema yesterday. <laughs> we went watching the new um, Disney Pixar Lightyear. You know Buzz Lightyear, the Lightyear movie. I wasn't overly impressed, you know. I wasn't overly impressed. Um, it's definitely got its audience. Um, what I'd say is, if you've got very, very, very young children... They might not be engaged. It's a, it's an alright film, but it's like it's an animation with like a sort of adult concept. 
it, you'll you'll only understand when you watch the movie and i don't want to spoil it for anyone but it's sort of like it's sort of like an adult storyline but an animation so my youngest my little my four-year-old and my six-year-old really was not engaged in it at all because there wasn't really any singing in it dancing it wasn't that type of film it was very a very adult based storyline that's that's all i can describe it as my eldest daughters liked it my 13 year old and my 11 year old liked it so i think what i'm saying probably rings true <laughs> going off that but yeah i had to take my six year old out before the end of the film um luckily we all went together dad came along so he stayed in the cinema with the others why are two kids like she just couldn't cope anymore she was being majorly disruptive and i thought i'm gonna start getting stirs now i should have took her to the autism friendly screening um but they're only once a month those they're only once a month and it's only they pick the film they basically, the cinema who do the autism friendly screening, they basically fill, pick which film they screen. So it's a bit rubbish really. You'd think they'd do more than once a month to cater for, you know, other people and not just pick the film sort of thing. It's a bit rubbish. But yeah, I had to take her out. She was being a bit hyperactive. But it weren't just a bit of kid noise because you expect that when you're watching a kid's movie. You know, it weren't just she was being a bit excited. She was overly, she was really, she weren't interested in the movie. She wasn't even looking at the movie. She was up and down, running around. She was purposely laughing loudly to get a reaction. She weren't laughing at the film. She wasn't looking at the film. It was like, quiet sad parts of the film and she wasn't even looking at it and she was just hysterically started laughing and i thought oh my days i just have to get her out of here now <laughs> at this point i need to get her out <laughs> but yeah right it always looks so messy when i start coloring like i've just put that base down and you're probably looking at it thinking oh my word that looks so <laughs> so rubbish but i promise you once it's all blended <laughs> at the end i always say that though coloring pages go through a really ugly stage really most of the time on the rare occasion they'll stay at the ugly stage like the fragile world page that i did the otter page where it just wouldn't go right occasionally i get them pages um but touch wood normally turn it around <laughs> turn it around so yeah we had father's day as well didn't we we had father's day i got i got my partner a um i don't know if i've already said in the past video but i got my partner a um the star wars series that came on called the mandalorian there was a t-shirt with dad lorian on it so i got him one of them <laughs> Got him um, some crispy creme donuts delivered to the house as well. They were lovely. They were lovely. The kids loved them as well. <laughs> I think the kids ate more of them, to be honest. Um, I got him a little foil, gold foil printed frame that had like silhouettes of a moon and burrs on it. And it, it said, Daddy, we love you to the moon and back. And um, it had everyone's names underneath. That was really sweet. Oh, and a cup. My daughter. One of my daughters is obsessed with Rick and Morty. It's this show that I don't let her watch because she's too young for it. But it's a bit like all the uh, Family Guy shows and stuff. So it's a bit, got a bit of, you know, it's adult content. So she doesn't watch it, but she knows of it because on the game Fortnite, there's a, a character skin on the of Rick so that's where she initially saw it but she's obsessed with it and she said I want to get dad a Rick and Marty cup 
So I ordered him this cup and she was so, so excited when it came to give it him. So excited. <laughs> it's cute though when it comes from the kids, isn't it? Because that's, that's what it's all about. It's, it's their dad and it's unpicking a present for him. It's really cute. I really don't know how to tackle all this. I think I'm just going to do what I said. Okay, I'm just going, if anything, I'll go over it with some, I'll either leave it just blending in with the rest of the dress or I'll go over with a bit of a white paint pen. I'm rubbish at lace. I just don't, I don't know where to start. I think I need to either see if there's a tutorial on YouTube somewhere or see if there's anything in the Helen, oh, what's the last name? Helen, you know the tu colouring tutorial books you can back purchase? I've got one of them somewhere, but I've got my daughter. I wonder if there's anything in there about lace. I'll have to see. But yeah. So I think today we were supposed to be going up my mother-in-law's house, but I think my partner's decided against it today. I think we're having a chilled day today. We've just had brunch. We've just had sausage and egg on, on wholemeal berms. So I'm, I'm well and truly <laughs> into my diet this week. So I said I'm not being naughty. Um, so the sausages were 50% reduced fat. Um, the eggs I cooked in the fry light, low calorie spray. Um, so there was no fat in the eggs. And I didn't butter my berm. I had a whole meal, whole meal berm. I didn't butter it. I didn't put any butter on it. If you think about it, well, I put a little bit of sauce on because sauce isn't much on my diet. You know, it's all right if you just put a little, little bit on. But if you think about it, if you're putting like runny egg on your berm, that that wets it, doesn't doesn't it? That's um, you know, so it's not being dead dry. So I might have ordered a couple more diamond paintings as well. I apologise. <laughs> I thought though, wouldn't it be nice to, because we want to decorate the kitchen next. And I've only got a little kitchen really. There's not much in it. <laughs> so I said, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to put one in the kitchen, a little diamond painting in the kitchen. So I went on and looked for, I think you can search different criteria, can't you, on the Diamond Dark Club website. And I sort of was looking at all the foodie ones and I found two cute little ones that will be perfect for my kitchen. So when they, they come, I'll do a little um, a little unboxing on the channel so you can see which ones I've picked. But they are perfect for the kitchen. So if you're if you're diamond paint, if you're looking for some artwork for your kitchen, stay tuned. Watch out for it soon. <laughs> Should be sometime next week when it comes. It might be the end of the week. Um, sometimes it takes forever for Diamond Dirt Club to come to my house and sometimes it's really quick like I placed the order on my birthday and then I had an email the same day saying it had been shipped and I thought that's quick whereas other times it's took like a week before it's even been shipped so yeah I've ever hit and miss with my address Diamond Dirt Club <laughs> I'm super excited. They're a bit smaller than the ones I've been doing, <laughs> given that they're for my kitchen. They're a smaller size. They're like ones, I think they might, one's like a rectangle and one's like square shaped. But I think they are both square shaped drills, which I don't mind. I've just been doing a square shaped one for the first time. Been really enjoying it, so I don't mind. 
Let's get some shading into the crease of this elbow here. I promise you, when <laughs> when I start blending this all together, it will not look like a hot mess, I promise. <laughs> Trust in your pencils or yourself, one of the two. So summer holidays is looming on us as well. I've been trying to think of things I can do with the kids which are too busy or too much. Because I have to be careful about where I'm going and because my partner works you can only book like one week off work in the summer holidays so the rest of the time because they get six weeks off so say he has a week off with us then that's five weeks i've got on my own with them and as you know i have five children two with additional needs and it's hard to get out by yourself it's hard to get out by yourself because i've got one runner well i've got two runners to be honest because my four-year-old He's not got additional needs, my four-year-old, but you know what, four years old, they do just run off at times. Um, so he can be a runner, but my six-year-old um, with additional needs, she is a runner. She is a runner and she doesn't come back when you shoot her. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine if I've got two running off in different directions, it's not cool it's, and it's not fun. So I have to be careful a bit where I'm taking them because it's a thing of safety as well. You know, it's a wonder they're, they're all still alive, I'm telling you. <laughs> I do a good job keeping those kids alive. <laughs> yeah, so I think the local duck pond is normally okay-ish if, if I'm on my own, if I drive there and then we've just got to get from the car <laughs> onto the park safely because the main road that we park on and then obviously hoping they don't try and get into the pond the duck pond <laughs> my now 11 year old did that when she was gosh how old was she i think she was around four or five years old and she just went and walked straight into the duck pond up to her ankles. And I was like, what? I was going after her, but I weren't fast enough. And she'd already got in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. And this, this elderly lady was just looking at me like in shock. <laughs> and I was like, oh dear. Oh. Yeah, so she went home that day with soggy feet. <laughs> Just gonna grab a little drink. I'm on my second coffee of the morning. I do drink too much coffee. Keep trying to say I'll cut down and have waters instead, which is it is a bit easier in summer when it's hot to do that. You know, to have more water because you are generally wanting more cold drinks. But when it gets to sort of autumn, winter, I don't want to be drinking cold water. <laughs> I want to have my hot, my hot, hot coffees. Right. I'm so bad at working out what things are in pictures as well and illustrations that at first when I, when I got this colouring page I was trying to work out what this thing was round the neck and at first I thought is it a lacy bit at the top and this is sort of the skin showing through the lace cut out and then I, I saw this up here and I thought oh no it's a necklace <laughs> it's a necklace with a gem on the end it proper threw me when I was looking at this section because I, I totally missed that so I was just looking at this thinking what what is that <laughs> Anybody else like that? But as soon as somebody else tells you what it is, you're like, oh yeah. How how did I possibly not see that? How? <laughs> they do go down really nice on this paper though, the polychromos. They sort of change they change how they how they feel going down on the page on this paper. Like it's they almost feel smoother 
like softer on this paper than we were. So pretty this dress though, isn't it? I like how it's cut out the at the wrist. Really pretty. The price of things in this country, I don't know if it's everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to the news enough. I just know what is happening over here. The cost of everything is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Like everything's going up by a lot. Like not only a few pence. It's going up like. Like I go to the supermarket. And the cheese that I normally. The block of cheese that I normally buy. Is normally £1.69. Something like that. I went in the other day and it had gone up to £2.19. So that's a, I'm not good at maths, but how much is that a jump off? <laughs> About 50p, is it? Roughly. A 50p jump in price. That's a lot. If you take into consideration every grocery item jumps up by 50p each. Gosh. That adds up to a lot, a lot extra on your shopping bill. Like I went in one day and I spent a hundred pound, and I came out and I thought, what have I actually bought? Because <laughs> it didn't look like there was a lot when I was unpacking it at home. And I was like, what the, what the heck? As my little boy said, keeps saying, and I keep saying, don't say that. <laughs> keeps saying, what the heck? <laughs> Got that off my little girl though teach each other words they shouldn't say could be a lot worse so you know <laughs> could be worse yes so on that note of of things going up i'm very grateful for all you lot all you guys who watch my videos who sit through the adverts because the adverts are what pay me so when you watch the adverts on my videos I get a little tiny little bit of money from that that's how YouTube works that's how creators are paid they're paid through people who watch the adverts basically so thank you to each and every one of you who watch my videos who support my channel you sit through the adverts because it really does help me. This little tiny bit, it's not a lot, but this little bit of money that I get from YouTube really, really helps. It really does help. And it's fun. It's fun as well. It's nice to actually get a little bit of something for doing something you enjoy. It's not it's not often people can say that about jobs that they do, is it? I know it's not a proper job. People say it's not a proper job. But it's not often people can say they enjoy what they do. my pencil a little sharp and not much of one <laughs> I think I'll just do this um, section of her arm there then I'll blend it all together and then I'll end it oh the sharpness so nice it your poor ears but it is a good one it's this helix it's, it is brilliant oh gosh she, she says I'm not gonna sharpen pencil much look what I've done I forgot it was on that setting it's on number one this is gonna snap. <laughs> this is gonna snap. Oh, I'm just waiting for it. It will happen. It's gonna happen because I'm going in with hard pressure. I do. I really did not need this pencil that sharp. 
I did not need it this sharp. I did not need it this sharp. The children are coming upstairs with your little voices. And the weird singing. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> right on cue. Don't know if the camera picked that up, but that was right on cue, that was. <laughs> it's a nice day from being in the garden as well. I've got the back door open for them. It's not too hot today. It's nice enough to go outside in the garden and it's not raining. But it's just, there's a lovely breeze outside today. Lovely breeze. Oh, for my birthday as well, my mum came round and she got me a, um, she got me a little handbag. She got me, um, an infuser. Do you know one of them little pots of scents, what you get with them sticks? I don't know what they're called, they've got a special name. Them sticks where you put it in the oil and it, you know, the fragrance comes up. She got me one of them and she got me a little lavender plant for the, for my garden. So I've just been outside and planted that. And it looks gorgeous. It's lovely and colourful, my garden now. I'll put a little picture there or a video. But how nice is it to go outside to the nice colourful garden? My son brought them sunflowers home from nursery. And um, we had them in the kitchen at first in the little pot, the little seedlings. And we've grown them that big. And in the garden and flowering, they're gorgeous. Oh, I can hear my little girl now coming up. Uh, she's laughing there, by the way. <laughs> Screaming, laughing. Yeah, so my garden's looking really, really pretty now. And I'm actually quite surprised that the kids haven't wrecked those flowers yet, let me tell you. Of all people to kick a ball at one of the sunflowers, guess who it was? Have a good guess who it was. And it wasn't me. It was the dad. The dad kicked the ball at the sunflower. And he ended up having to tape. Tape it a little bit. <laughs> I said of all people, I've been telling them to watch what they're doing with the ball. And of all people, it's you what's done it. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? But we've had that little, that little sort of, I want to say a planter, it's not really a planter, we just stuck some concrete slabs up and <laughs> chucked some soil in. But that at the back of the garden, we've had that filled with topsoil for years. And I've never actually put plants in it because I thought the kids have always, always been like very, very young. And I've always said they're just going to pick the flowers because I know what my children are like. So I never put any in and then this year I just thought, you know what, I feel like I can trust them a bit now. I feel like they're not going to wreck the flowers. So I went and bought a load of different coloured flowers. I thought, let's make it nice. Let's make it a bit colourful in this garden. Right, I think I'm going to try and blend this together now. Just check, I don't want to go, I want to go a bit darker in some places. Just because I'm being fussy and neck picky. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. Stop fussing, Kirsty, stop fussing. Actually, what's, is that a shoulder? Do we think that's a shoulder or a claw? I think that's a bit of the claws, you know. But that's the top, that's the top so that would be skin, wouldn't it? This isn't though. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to sharpen this. I think I'm going to use my Karen Dash Full Blender to blend this. And if I don't like it, I'll get my green back out. In fact, I don't know where I put the green. Was this the green? The first one I used here it is. But we'll have a go with this full blender first. Let's see how this pans out.
I did try it a bit on, I think it was the hair or the skin. No, it was the background. I tried this full blender on it. It wasn't working as well on this paper as it does on my regular white paper. Don't know why. Don't know what the difference is, but it just wasn't. I'm sort of feeling the same here that it's not working as well. I wonder if the zest it works any good on this paper. I don't want to ruin it by testing that out. <laughs> you know what I think it is? It blends the the bit where I've got lots of pigment down it's blending really it's blending okay when I get to this section where we've got the paler colours it's really not pushing the colour into the grain. So I might have to use something else in the centre. again <laughs> playing dollies she got a dolly in a little dolly's cot for a birthday she loves and I did manage to get hold of one Encanto doll the Mirabelle singing Mirabelle doll I managed to get hold of don't know how I managed it but I did so she was over the moon <laughs> she was over the moon The only thing with these full blender pencils is there's a lot of wax comes off them when you have to press on hard, like I'm having to press on really hard in the centre and um, there's a lot of wax come off, a lot of wax so if you've got some sort of duster brush you might like that, oh they're screaming now, screaming children. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether to go over that lacing with a white pen or whether to just leave it. I don't know if it's going to look a bit silly if I go over it with a white pen. I can't decide. she's leaking though. It's very pretty isn't she? I'm glad I went with the green and not the blue. So what's everyone doing this weekend? If you're if you're colouring what you're colouring, what artist's work are you colouring? If you're diamond painting, what diamond painting you're working on? Who would like to see another whipping chat um, with my diamond painting, by the way? I did pop one up, was it last weekend now? 
Oh, it was one day last week. I did pop up a little whipping chat um, video. It wasn't as popular as my colouring ones, though. Wasn't as popular. Yeah, it's really wicking my hand this now because this paper is very toothy. It's really, I'm really having to go in very hard to push this colour in to the grooves. It's in now, it's in. Just these little two, <laughs> two little bits now. And then I'll stop filming and then I'll probably have a little think about what I want to do with the lace a bit, whether I want to go over it or just leave it. I'm thinking I might leave it because I'm thinking I'm just going to ruin it if I try and go over it with white pen. And then I will, at some point, try and find tutorials for lace. <laughs> What's the hardest thing that you find to colour yourself? Is it skin? Is it animals? Is it fabric? Is it something else? I find lace hard. I find crystals hard. So I've picked a belting page here, answer. Um, yeah, I find crystals hard, glass, anything like that. Um, I find like landscapes quite tricky as well you know like images that have like scenery in the background like I've, I find those quite tricky as well I love her love her love colouring her and animals actually I love colouring animals as well I do quite a few of the Tim Jeffs pages and obviously the Kirby pages Fragile World are all animals which I love that's my daughter making a big noise behind <laughs> in the background right so that's that sort of done for now Um. I don't know what I want to do about the lacing. I'm going to have a think about it and leave it because I don't want to ruin it. Do not want to ruin it. But yeah, let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Is this her in between all this? So it sort of carries on from here. Her behind there. What do you think? So I did end my video after that. But I decided I didn't quite like something about the page. So because the middle didn't quite push the pigment right into the page I went back into the center with the permanent green olive so that we got more of a bright green rather than a sort of like a weird color wasn't it when I blended it at first um, and then I did decide to go in with some patterns over the top with my white paint pen I just couldn't resist so I did that <laughs> but I did have to pop back on to video to show you what I'd done because I did end the video at that point and um, decided I didn't like it and then added this detail in which I do really like now so there we come to the actual end now I won't be popping back on I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore but I thought I'll let you know what I've done in case you decided to um, if you've got this page and you decided to colour that that's what I've done I went back in over the top when we used the full blender in the centre, I went over the top of it again with a permanent green and then back in with a full blender. Like I said, there's lots of tooth to this paper, so it can take it. It can take layers and layers and layers. So I'm really happy with that one now, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to fiddle. I'm not going to fiddle. Please do hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.